Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back to the stream. Apparently I just put a waypoint down. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for those that are watching on Twitch, thanks for taking the time to uh, wait for me and the whole good nine yards. So in the last stream, what we did was we set up a few miners and we got the steel drill heads. Uh, so we can get tin, um, silver, gold, and all that good stuff. We also put up a few coke brick so we can get some coke. And this is really good to make steel with. Uh, it's better than coal because you can get more, more, two per one instead of one per one kind of thing. So now they are creosote. So with this creosote, we're going to start making treated wood. And I think that's where we're going to start getting into a different type of power. I think what I want. Oh, they give me more. That's just what I needed. Add to the rest of the ones that I got earlier. All right. So I think, the like I said, I wanted to get into power. But instead of going down this road, I think we're going to go down this road first. And do water wheels and windmills. Um, mainly for the simple reason that they're free energy. So... This you can get up to, if you do it right, I think it's 100, no, it's 88, 88 RF a tick. So that's not so bad. Um, if we do like 20 of them and you do, you can get up and that and do 20 of these, I think you can get up close to 1,000 RF a tick, which would be pretty good for our, our little setup. So I think that's what our goal should be today is start getting um, some of that going. So in order to do creosote, we're gonna need some kind of a container. Um, oops, I didn't wanna do that. There we go. Let's go with a container, no, a tank. Uh, we do have, uh, let's see here. We have these, these portable tanks. Which ones are easier to make? These are just glass. I don't think they hold very much, though, these ones. These ones hold 20 buckets. And then, isn't there something called, like, a reservoir? Reserv reservoir? Pretty sure there was. These things right here. Oh, reservoir. All right. Um... 10,000, 40,000, that'd be pretty good. 40,000, could I do a 40,000? Takes invar, but I should be able to do invar now. That shouldn't be an issue. All right, so let's make a little bit of invar since we're gonna be needing a little bit of invar. Um, I think that's copper, or no, sorry. That's iron and nickel. We didn't get a lot of it though, but I think you use, uh, oops, wrong one. This one right here. There, we'll grab that modularium out of there. And then we'll just put that over here. A lot of running around sometimes. Um, so that's being made. That's when, can I do more? I wish I could do more. <laughs> uh, kind of struggling for resources at the moment. Uh, the newer ones anyways, not the older ones. The, the tier one resources we're doing pretty good on. That I gotta say. I'm just going to get uh, these smelted up and we should be just fine. You know, 16 furnaces, you, you kind of smelt things pretty quick. So if I do this and try to get these main ores out first, I'd like to get more tin first. I think the tin is in here. Oh, let's do that. Let's grab the tin. A little bit more of that. All right. So we'll do the tin first. Tin, lead, silver, that, and then we'll do the rest of that. My lord. All right. So that should be fine. That should be making us the resources we need. We'll just grab a bunch of this and we'll throw it over here into this container. And then whatever we need to craft, well, we'll have uh, some craftables. All right. So. Let's start off by making this little thing right here. And then this, we're going to need a bucket for. I already have buckets, but that's fine. I'll save those buckets for another day. And then we should have some in bar by now, which is good. Toss that there. 
Uh, the reservoir, this one. That's good. So now we got 40 buckets that we can hold in here. So if I uh, take that out of my hand, I right click, I put that in there. I could take all of this creosote that we made in here, right? I got to take it out though. There we go. So now we got uh, how many buckets in there now? 36 buckets. So that's really handy. Now you're thinking, well, what are you going to do with that? Well, we're going to come over here and we're going to make ourselves a bunch of creosote. Um, creosote planks, uh, treated planks. Huh? That's the word I'm looking for. So we'll just do this, that. Then we should be able to fill all that up. I can take this right here and go bam. And then we used all 36 of those buckets and we made a bunch of creosote. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. There we go. Let's just put the planks in there for now, I guess. We have room for all of that? We do. All right, so now we got treated wood. And then with that treated wood, we can go ahead and hopefully maybe start unlocking this. So I need 32 for that and 16, so 48 in total, which I don't think is going to be a problem. We got uh, lots. Grabbed a little bit too much there, but that's fine. There, that's that unlocked, and that's that unlocked. Oh. And that unlocked. That's going to make our sales a lot faster. But, um, I guess now I'm going to need a hoe. Yes, let's make a hoe. And then that's a hoe. And then where are those buckets? Yeah, I'm going to need to make that infinite water source. We'll just do it back here. Nice and safe back here. Shouldn't lose it anyways. Let's go here, that, that. Now we grab some buckets of that. Um, here will be fine, I guess. We'll just screw it, right? I guess. Yeah. And then we'll just do this, because we need to plant. Should go four out. There we go. So if we go and grab these right here, the hemp seeds, we should be able to get some uh, industrial hemp. And it's like string. And then that's what we're going to be able to use in order to make. Hey, that was perfect. It's like I knew exactly how many it was. All right. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be able to use those to get the sales. So we go over here and we type in water wheel, uh, water. So in order to make a water wheel, right, we're going to need some components. So we're going to need some treated woods and some sticks. So each one is four. I said I wanted to make, uh, how many do we start with here? Hmm, how many do we start with? That would, That's the key. And then you gotta plan, I wanna plan this out a little bit too. So uh, try not to make it look super ugly, you know? Uh, I guess we could do like a small section over here. And this will be like our power generation for like our base. And then we'll use whatever power we got here to, to feed a few things. I think that would be kind of like the good way to go. So let's do that then. So let's make some sticks. I'll do at least two sets. And then, oh boy, I don't know, 53, one, two, three. Oh, uh, it's, it's four per each. So we have to end at least on an even number. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess we'll do all 53. Uh, we'll get some more anyways. Um, do I have enough steel? I can make 13 of them for now. That's a pretty good start. So I'll take some of the logs for now. And we'll go on this side over here. And we'll clear ourselves a little bit of an area to work out. Uh, this will be come in handy too for the chisel because then we'll be able to make ourselves some 
nice bricks or some nice material to to line it out in make it look appealing i guess so this would be pretty good just about anyways that's not bad not bad at all all right so let's go over here and then kind of plan it out so there are nine oh maybe i should grab some stone first yes i think i will and then we'll we'll use the chisel and we'll choose a nice stone for it where is my backpack did i throw it in here i did too What's the point of having a backpack if you don't hold your items in it, right? If you're not carrying it with you. All right, so what do we want to make this look like? What would look nice? What would look nice? These join up and make a nice looking pattern. We could do something like that. All right, now it should be a good start. So, the way these work, I guess we can kind of line it up with that. Is that the right one? Yeah, it is. Because that should be the one at the back. So, these are one, two, three. The, wind, the water wheels, you want to put three of them side by side. So, we'll do something like this. And then, I believe they're nine long. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we'll do something like that. I think that would be good. And then how many do I want to have across? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. That gives me four across. Do we do one more? One, two, three, four, five. All right, we can do five across. And come to about here. That yeah, sounds pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I like that. All right, these things are huge too, by the way. They're not like small little things. Like, figure a six by nine base, you're looking at something that's relatively big, you know? Well, you'll see them in a second once I get these lined out here. Um, like I said, I don't know how many I'm gonna do. Oh, uh, the windmills too kind of like overlap one another. Hmm. Or do I do those a little bit differently? I think I can do those a little bit differently. I won't. I what I did the last time is I put the windmill kind of like in the middle, kind of going around. <clears throat> I think this time what I'll do is I'll do kind of like a a little farm here for this. So I'll have a second row coming here eventually, uh, and then we'll do ten, uh, maybe even twenty of these. I think that would be good, and then we can set up a windmill farm just on the other side of that too and or we can have them in the middle of these going upwards i think that too would work we'll figure something out when it comes time all right so uh here's the middle of this i believe that's where you want the water wheel so if we take this out and go bam hmm i think it has to be one more up yeah, one more up. So the water wheel's got to go three up from there. Yeah, because you got to have that water flowing underneath, which is kind of important. So look at the size of these things. So that right there, if you put the water in the right spots, you can get 88 RF a tick from that, which is pretty good. So we'll just keep uh, mimicking what I just did here. And then that way we can have a bunch of power, which would be great. Because uh, kind of going forth here, we're going to start needing power. Um, especially if you want to like automate things a little bit faster. Like power is pretty necessary. So, oh. Uh, do 
did you just glitch out or are you really there? Oh, that didn't work out very well. There we go. And then I can do more here. And another set here. So really in the end for this setup, I'm just missing two more water wheels. That's pretty good. So we can go make a few more. Want to make sure uh, I get enough power generation going on here too. So like for me, that's pretty important. Oh, really? So you get to keep the normal one? No way, really? Or did I just choose the wrong recipe? No, it, it doesn't. I guess it doesn't consume it in order to make the other one. Huh. Interesting. What was that other recipe at the bottom? That's weird. Maybe it was just empty it, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. It's all good. It's all good. So we got more here. We'll we take all that and then we'll go make some more uh, treated wood planks. And then we can make some more of those. Those water wheels. That'd be pretty awesome. And we get the, the basis of power going. Uh, so grab some more of these. Just those eight should be sufficient. Then we'll just throw that there. Bam, that's beautiful. We'll just throw these back in here since I don't really need them for the moment. Uh, there we go. Make one batch of sticks. I think that should be okay. That turned out good. I got an, uh, an even number, 11. And I got an uneven number there. So I think, I think I'm going to end up needing one more. Nine. Oh, nice. Then I'd be able to actually make two more. Yeah, well, that's really good. I'll do that. Since uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's good. And here we go. That's another one. Since I got them, I may as well. Oops, I may as well start using them since I'm planning to do that many of them anyways. Get them up and running would be kind of nice. Two and three. Beautiful. That's here. Up here. Now, put the last three in. Two, three. And one, two, three. There we go. Oh, I could have done another one. Oh, yeah, because nine, right? Hmm. That's good. No complaints. No complaints. I'm bad at math there recently. I don't know. Just not my thing there. <laughs> Used to be pretty good at math. I don't know why lately. I've just been all off. There we go. So we got uh, eight water wheels going down. So that's pretty awesome. These, I think I'm just going to take out. Um, actually, no. I'm going to leave those in. This one I have to take out. I might actually screw that all up, eh? I think you have to put in the that other thing first. I might end up having to rip all these out. That would suck. All right, so let me, yeah. Oh boy. That's okay. Good thing there's are fast to take out. So in order to get like power out of these things, uh, we're going to need like a, what's called a kinetic dynamo. Uh, isn't it? Yeah. It's a KI. So we're going to need some of these copper coil things. All right. So let's grab a bunch of copper. We'll got some sticks. We'll make some sticks. And then make a bunch of these. Bam. And bam. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for now. 
Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to destroy those. Let me just uh, put all the stuff I'm not using away here. Kind of accumulate junk pretty quick here. That's one of the things I noticed about uh, mod packs. Not long before your inventory gets full. Let me just tell you. I can just um, go in here. All right, so let's go take all these down. and Because there's kind of like a weird bug that's always been involved and associated with these things which is kind of weird so um you have to put down the dynamo first and then you have to put these on because if you don't they don't seem to generate the power for some reason that's and then if you go and you use your wrench on the dynamo you can also screw it up and then it doesn't work anymore which is problematic so Especially if you're working in tight areas, but since we have all this open space, it's like not much of a big deal. Just <clears throat> took like five seconds to put all these up, so not much of a not much of a big deal. So now we know that everything is a a double. One, two. I'll take these off. Then we can put the kinetic dynamos on the top of those. And then we can go ahead and put the water wheels on. See? A little bit too impatient there. A little bit too impatient. All right, so if we grab these. And um, can I get them from up here? Yes. All right, so let's go put all these on first. Try my luck at uh, not screwing up. We'll see how that works out for me. See, I already failed twice. <laughs> Concentrate. Use the force. There we go. <laughs> That's what it was. You just had to use the force. There we go. Master Obi-Wan Kenobi here. There we go. Awesome. We want to jump off. There we go. Uh, I took those off. I didn't mean to. Oops, my bad. There we go. Get those on. Get these here. Beautiful. All right, now we can start putting on the water wheels right after that. One, two, three. So now we'll be able to get an output from these water wheels. And we'll be able to start generating some hydropower, which is great. Which is very good. It's cheap power. It's uh, free power. All we have to do is set up some water blocks and we're good to go, which I cannot complain. And then probably in the next episode there, or maybe even in this episode, might even be able to start using some of that power. We'll see how things go. All right, so that's that. Now I need to get up here. I believe that's one up from there. Let's go like this. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, I should be able to put the water source where I need to, so that's good. So let's bridge out like this, and then we'll just get rid of the ones in the middle afterwards and make it look nice. That way they all look like separate, uh, separate uh, little little structures. It's gonna be friggin' awesome. All right, almost done. Yeah, set up at the beginning is a little bit long, but uh, once you get it all set up there, things tend to kind of go a little bit more smoothly which is nice so no complaints on that just got to get that initial little hump over and done with right and i think that's the last one so let's go over here probably gonna have to make myself some more of that uh that stone it's gonna look nice afterwards though and then uh, we can chisel glass too as well which is really nice. So we'll uh, chisel some glass and 
We'll make some nice glass framing for this. I don't think uh, you need too much glass though. It's only the corners that you gotta kinda fill out, which is not too bad. But uh, I think you need six source blocks in total for for all of this. Let me skip one. Yeah, six six for each each one of these these water wheel sections. It's pretty awesome. Almost there. Not really. But we're getting there. <laughs> like I said, the initial setup is kind of long, but the process in the end is what you can do with all the power is going to be kind of fun. So probably in between streams, I'll put the other ones up. It'll give me something to do while waiting for resources to to make and all that. And then when we come back afterwards, we'll we'll have probably double the power that we finished the stream off with, which is very awesome. And then means we'll be able to do, jump into maybe some electric research or something like that. Maybe that'd be kind of cool. Uh, so it'd be this one here. I can go around and destroy all those afterwards. Let's just get the the main little setup up and running here first. Then after that, we'll, we'll be ticky boo good to go. Uh, was that the last one? It was. So we'll just uh, grab it. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall off there for a second, but we didn't. We're survivors. Very good survivors. All right, that's that. Let's go back upwards. Very nice. And we're completely out. And yeah, it isn't so bad. We got most of the top done, which is pretty good. Pretty awesome. Let's grab a little bit more cobble here. Have my, probably gonna have to make another one of those. Probably gonna break at one point. Let's see it breaking very soon. <laughs> Awesome. All right. So if I get rid of that, put one of these down, should be able to make some more. Put that in there, that in there. All right. So let's make some more of these. Good stuff. All right. Get rid of that. All right, here we go. I guess we can just finish it off in the bottom. I don't need to climb up there for now. But as long as I don't uh, place too many blocks in the wrong spot and annoy myself, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Then I should be able to get up there and just delete the uh, the other ones. Uh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I like it. Like it lots. Looking forward to the getting into power though. Power is gonna like change the game quite like drastically. You know, with all the things that we're gonna be able to start doing. Like automation wise there. Like you're not gonna be able to automate the, the ores there for a little while. Like there's some things we can do to to automate that process, but a lot of it is just gonna gonna have to manually transfer things over or you know something along those lines um <clears throat> you can get into filters too uh, like we can like filter where things are going through the conduit network but uh i only want to use that conduit network for for a few things like just mainly to get the resources back into the main hub and then from the main hub outwards, there's another type of um, block that we can use. They're uh, logistic pipes. And those logistic pipes, they're a little bit complicated, but they're they're pretty cool. I, I gotta have to, got to admit. Um, well, once you figure them out and you get them working, you play with them, you know, with experience and get used to 
understanding what those in particular things do, then it's not so bad. All right, so I should be able to get up here and get rid of these or put these up. There we go. That's beautiful. And now I just got to climb up there and get the other, take those other ones off. There. Now, without falling off though, that would be, that would be key. Yeah, I can just go down and pick those up afterwards. Ah, uh, what did we just say? <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That was absolutely horrible. All right, let's get back up here. Uh, I did miss a few spots here, so I guess it's kind of a good thing that we have to come back up here. There we go. And then this one. Try to make it all look nice and pretty. Try anyways. I'm not like the the greatest builder out there, but uh, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm pretty sure there are people that uh, would be far worse than I. All right, that's one. This one. That. All right, so those are done. Just gotta go take these ones off. And the top ones. At least this way I don't fall off, which would be kind of good. Doing it like this. Being careful. Tight rope. Tight, tight rope walking. Hmm. Alright. That's pretty good. There. So now, we just gotta do uh, the whole bucket thing. Get a bunch of buckets. And then we can start getting the water to flow. And we can start getting power out of this thing. Which will be great. Can't wait. <clears throat> power generation in this mod pack is... Uh, they're rough, man. They're, it's, it's, it's rough. It really is. Um, not getting it, but supplying your your entire factory with half decent uh, power is a challenge. That's why I'm figuring like I'm going to I'm going to like separate everything into like grids, which I think would be great. So uh, all right, so let's just do this. Try to get all these uh making it look nice anyways. Something to hold all the water in. And then Gives it that aesthetic look like it's being held up on both sides, which, you know, we all know it's not. Minecraft and their almost zero gravity. Very few blocks have gravity. There we go. And I think that was it, right? Yeah, they're all done. Now, um... I'm going to need to put water on this row right here. So if I do a double block there on all of these, that's where your water's, that's where one water source section is going to sit anyways. That looks good. And then I guess, I don't know if I have any glass. I think, yeah, I did. I made some glass last time. Pretty sure anyways. And then here. And here. Not too bad. It's looking pretty good, man. It's looking pretty good. All right, so that's that. Uh, let's go get... I should make an easier way up there. Um, do, do, do. Let's do the glass thing first. All right, so where do I got glass? I believe I had some here. I do. Let's try to make do with that. Because um, I'm pretty sure it's just the corners that you got to block off. 
Oh, what would look nice? A gray border one, stone frame border. Let's go with the stone frame border one. Let's check that out. So, if I do something like... This. Ah, uh, you do get that ugly, nasty kind of look like that. I don't like those little marks going through it. I know there's a glass later on that you can get. It's called clear glass. And uh, that will be okay. Then I think you just need to block the corners off like this. Just to save on glass too, you know, like we don't need. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. That should be fine. I'm really thinking about destroying like this one right here. Or just make it a flat black like this. I think so. I think that's what I'll do. Make it look nicer. Because you don't need all that, all that glass blocking it all up. And I'm just trying to make it look nice too, so. Don't want it to look like crap. All right, so that's all the back there. Then we got to go and put in all the corners. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Looking pretty good so far. If I can get all this set up, I'd be really, <laughs> be really happy. Made a lot of them, but. It'll be worth it. It'll totally be worth it. I am, um, like I said too, I'm probably going to make more of them at one point. Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> no, it should just fall straight down. That's too bad I had to waste uh, some glass on that. But that's fine. That's fine. Uh, stone frame border one. Uh, is this the one I'm on? I believe so. Yeah. There we go, and then up, and down, and up, and down. Hmm. I wonder if the water is going to come under that. I'll have to find out afterwards. Ah, snap. All right. Uh, that's that one done. Those are done. Okay, so now I'm on this side. Trying to not lose track of where I am. Horrible. All right. Oof, that was close to using another piece of glass for no mistake. Well, for no reason. My God, can't wait to get all this done. Power generation, huh? <laughs> I said it was a good idea. Well, it is a good idea. It's just takes a little bit long to set up. Or half decent power generation takes while the setup anyways there's like a lot better things we can be doing afterwards oh, i'm gonna need some more glass like um once we get into the whole oil thing i think that'll be pretty good too man that's too bad oh, i'm surprised it didn't break all right that's not too bad i figured i would have used a lot more glass than what i did currently use so all right, these are done. That one's done. That side's done. This side's done. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. I thought uh, I ran out on that side. That's great. Tony the Tiger great. There we go. I just got a few more of these to do, and then we can start putting in the water. And then we can make the... Um, I think they're... Oh, I forgot one. That's not good. It is not good at all. That was sloppy. Alright. Oh. And crisis averted. See? All done. Perfect. That's good. Almost there. 
Only 5,000 more hundred to go. All right. Get there, get there. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can because, <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, it's long. <laughs> Very long. All right. Almost there. Almost there, everybody. Some big cheers at the end. Hooray! All right, this is going to be the last one. Wow. And then, like I said, the other ones I'll do off stream. Just to get like a good idea of what we're, what we're dealing with here. All right, so these are the water wheels. And those are the cages for the water wheels. Um, I will put infinite water right here close by. And then we can do something like this. Um, also, there's another thing we can do to kind of cheese this out a little bit and get water. We can do this. And I got a bunch of free buckets of water. <laughs> it's pretty cheesy, but it works. Um, <laughs> do I have any more of that? I do. And one. Okay, so... This one's going to go here like that. Let's make up some room here. And that one's going to go here like this. And that one's here like that. Wasn't that supposed to flow? Or did I go down one too many? That's a possibility. I think I might have. So... I made a boo boo. That means I potentially wasted some glass. Unless, uh. Yeah. Yeah, I potentially wasted some glass. Alright. So, I can do. That, that, that. Alright, no, I'll leave it like that, I guess. Or do we just leave these ones here? Kind of gives it a weird backing look to it. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Why not? And then I'll just fill these in. Thought I was done with the glass. But I guess I'm not. Fortunate. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to have to build my way back up here again too. Crying out loud. There. Now we got auto steps. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so that's that one. Then the next one you gotta block is this. Like that. And then you put three more here. That should speed up the water wheel drastically. And then because it's also flowing underneath, you're getting the other point of contact. Now you could block this off too if you wanted and just stop the water from there, but that's that's good enough. We can leave it just like that. We don't have to fill that in. We can leave it open. Water's not going to spill it all over the place. And technically, I guess we didn't need anything there either. So but that's fine. We'll just finish the rest of them off there like that. And hopefully... Oops. If I learn how to jump, learn how to jump. There we go. Then we can get the rest of them going. All right. Should, I guess I should have filled up with some water while I was down there, but no big deal. No big deal. All right. So three water. Like this, like that, and like so. And we'll block this off. Hmm. Yeah, I may as well. And then I'm going to need some more water. Just grab two more of those, uh, those bucket things. Then I'll have enough to do a pretty decent run. So if I go back to here, and where's the water bucket? There we go. I should have enough to do 
a couple more of them before I have to run back down, which is good. Alright, so that water wheel is slowly chucking along. Throw three more here. That should be full speed. Beautiful. Uh, a few wasted blocks in here, but that's fine. We'll, uh, we can live with it. No one will know. It'll be our little secret. Alright. Uh, I left one block gap. So really, technically, I guess I don't really need to, you know, double block it up, but it's just like all for looks anyways. There we go. It's another one done. There we go. I have to go get some more water after that. Perfect. Let's go get some more agua. That's one way of taking it. There we go. Um, do some water. Oh, hey man. How's it going? How are you, Mr. T? <laughs> oh, man. Didn't even uh, see you come in. Things have been pretty quiet today. <laughs> it's all good, though. So, I uh, got uh, a few things set up here. So, we're working on, like, uh, power generation. Let me get some water wheels up and running here which is pretty awesome and then uh, after that well we'll figure out what we're going to do with all this power hopefully uh something good nothing nothing chaotic i hope but here we go all done well for that one, those ones anyways so these should be producing enough power. So let's uh, finish these ones off. And then we'll uh, start getting into... Oh, I didn't do the glass on these ones, huh? Guess we're going to have to get some more glass. Uh, I don't really want to jump in there, but... Oh, I can get out. Look at that. That's perfect. Uh, one piece of glass. That's it. Gonna have to go smelt some more, I guess. Um, that's not good. All lead of glass. Well, would you look at that? Um, do I have any more sand? Probably not. Oh, I do. Yay, we're saved. Not much, though. Probably have to go get some more. So, uh, I have another chest here. I'll make a nice little chesticle. And then, oh, where'd those go? In here? Apparently. Let's sort that. Let's find the chests. Good. Now, uh, this would be like my project chests. So something I can just, you know, go afterwards. And where is that bag? I have an excavator in there. You can make a diamond one, too, I think. Uh, what are those called? Excavator. That's a platinum diamond. There, we'll make a diamond one for when that, that one breaks. Now, uh, where is the sand? Sand is down yonder. I'll we'll have to go and collect a little bit. Nice. What are you eating? I'm jealous. I have to make supper afterwards. So, here we go. Uh, sand over this way. I already started to pillage some of this sand uh, at an earlier date, which was really nice. Oh, there we go. Try to get as much as I can. Make as uh, much glass and stuff, too. Probably, uh... Oh, I'm definitely going to need more glass later on because conduits there, they use up a lot of glass. <clears throat> so, we can just destroy this little area I'd be pretty pretty content there we go. all this wonderful sand and dirt I don't know what dirt's gonna be really used good for but we'll collect a little bit of it 
God made dirt, so dirt don't hurt. Is that what they say? Alright, so, just about done here. Um, I don't think I'm going to make it all into sand, though, because then we can get into concrete, too. Or in glass, I mean. Because uh, concrete would be nice to uh, to get. That's for darn sure. Alright, here we go. I can go down a little bit more. Not much more, but I can go down. Try to pillage as much as we can because concrete is uh, you need a lot of uh, a lot of sand in order to make the concrete. Same with um, clay, but we haven't made clay yet. Clay is not too hard to make. Uh, I think there's a cheesy way to make clay. Um, let's get out of here. Beautiful. There's some more spots of over here I can go pillage, even though I was already doing it. So let's go and continue. Perfect. All this wonderful sand just for me. It's all mine and you can't have none. Cheesy clay. Yeah, we can make some cheesy clay. Not too difficult. Alright. Yeah, that should be good. I think I'll uh, be satisfied with that. And then look at my map. If I'm not mistaken, that's um I think that's all gravel. That could save us from having to smash a bunch of sand down to gravel or whatever. Cobble the gravel, gravel the cobble you know. Cobble the gravel, gravel the sand. And uh, that's perfect. That's exactly what's over here. Or is that? No, it's not. Ah, oh, I got screwed. Oh, I thought that would have been uh, would have been that, but it's not. All that is just. Oh man! All right. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to go hammer down a bunch of uh, cobblestone. Use that hammer that we have. Hmm. Interesting. But that should be good for sand for now, anyways. I don't see me needing any for the next little bit. Well, we'll make some... Try that out, too. Check out the... Uh... What is it there? The... Oh, my God. The concrete. That's what I'm trying to say. Concrete. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so here we go. Grab a bunch of this. Uh, grab a few sticks. And do I have plates still? Or did I use all the plates over here? I just need two. Yeah, they've all been uh, sucked into that system over there. That's fine. We can just grab three of these. Does it make two plates? It does. I could do this, that, make a few more. Uh, man, inventory space kind of sucks, eh? We'll get rid of that for now. I'll make some more of these, just so I can make a few more of these. Yeah, that should be good those away I guess we'll take that because we're gonna need it well at one point or another all right so we'll grab this and this that makes our our gravel I'm trying to find my words there for some reason drawing a blank Boo. all right got all this gravel there set up and then we'll look into getting clay. So they'll be beneficial for us to do this. That way we can zip around our our little base there pretty fast. And I think that's all of it. Yeah, looks like it. We'll just toss that there for now. And I don't need this on me. Uh, we'll just put that here for now. 
All right, so let's check out clay. Clay. So in order to make clay uh, slag, there was another way too to make this, was there not? Oh yeah, power. We're not there yet. Well, we do have power, just not at that in particular. But we can do the cheesy, the other cheesy way. So, um, I guess I'm gonna need some dirt slag. Try to grab as much of the dirt as I have set aside here. Apparently I don't have that much. Kinda surprised. Probably would have had more uh more dirt than that. Not like I can't go mine a bunch of dirt. There's a bunch of dirt over there. Um now I need that reservoir. Did I put that on me? No. Where's that other reservoir? What did I do with it? Oh, I bet you I put it in here. That's where it's gone. And then we can just uh, fill this thing up. <clears throat> and then we'll have all the water we need in order to make the clay. And then I guess we just get a little bit more dirt. That way you can make it enough amount of clay, which would be great. Use my words, I know. It's just absolutely horrible. It's like tongue twistered. All right, so we'll go over here, back where we were digging. Where were we digging? Down back this way. That way I can kind of dig in the same spot all the time and I don't want to have holes around my, my normal base, which would be kind of nice. Be like a big meteorite crashed and, oh, what was that? Oh, I don't know, just, you know, big hole. Just, it's a hole. Don't look at the hole. But being back here, no one will ever suspect it. Uh, there you go. Just try to make all the hole in the same area anyways. <laughs> Be consistent. There we go. And now we can just clear out dirt like crazy. And then we should be able to make a bunch of clay. And then we'll have concrete. Yay! So happy for concrete. And then we'll be able to run around the base a little bit faster. Which will be nice. A little bit more faster movement than Minecraft running. I think it's like double speed. I'm hoping it's double speed. There we go. That, that, that. I can get out. Alright, let's go back home. And then we can make the water, agua, or agua, clay, clay. That's what we're talking about. Clay, agua, agua, clay. All right, here we go. Finally home. So if I just go like so, really, you're not going to classify that as that. I'm going to have to do this manually. Wow. I took um very little. <laughs> I took, took all my water. <laughs> That's horrible. Maybe I should just like bring my crafting table over here. Might be a little bit faster. That sounds like a plan. Come here, you. Wish you could do that in normal Minecraft. That'd be kind of fun. Then you can just like pick up stuff and move it around without actually actually having to destroy it. It'd be friggin' awesome. But all right, almost full. Yeah. All right, put that. Oh, it doesn't actually have to be in there. We can just put it anywhere. That's kind of cool. Very neato. I try to get as much of this as we possibly can. And then make some concrete. And then later later date, well when we get a bunch of dyes, we can dye it and make it look nice other than just being like brown. I think that's like the concrete they give you. It's like a brown concrete. Be ugly. Alright. And that used it all again. Alright, well. 
we'll just uh, put all this away for now. And then I'll make some more afterwards. Get rid of all of this. Now, uh, I need the sand. I don't know if you need clay blocks or concrete. So they want you to use the clay blocks. All right, that's fine. But is that the right concrete, though? Hmm. I think there was another concrete that, uh, I think, anyways. Hope not. Yeah, because see here, there's like Minecraft and Minecraft. Okay, so there's only just that one concrete. Hmm. Oh, but you can turn it into a different concrete? That's weird. All right, let's 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 test this out. So we'll just uh, bookmark that. We'll go over to our crafting table that I moved over here for this. So if we put four of them like that. I don't know how much concrete this is going to make, but hopefully it makes a lot. There we go. Like so, like so. Well, I actually did make quite a bit. That's pretty good. So if we go and... Um, where's the front of our base? The front of our base is here. So it's kind of like make a, a little bit of a runway here. And we'll kind of test it out to make sure that it's the fast concrete and I didn't make the wrong concrete. <laughs> that would be uh, totally my style. But if this is the right stuff, we should have a slightly faster mobility around the base. And then I just want to map out a big area where we can just build the base on it and we'll have like super fast speed all the time which would be kind of good all right so oh yeah that's uh that's a lot better and then that's running oh yeah that's a lot faster right eh? compared to running on the oh a huge difference huge difference that's beautiful. We'll be able to trek around the base like like professionals. <laughs> That's good. Excellent. Just looking forward to that. All right, so I'll do that in between streams. I'll set up something and make it look all nice and pretty. That's friggin' awesome. That's good. A lot of concrete you make with that. I'm very satisfied. Very, very satisfied. So put that away. That, that. All right, so now well, listen, we got uh, at least the windmill, uh, the water wheels up today. <clears throat> that took a lot of time. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to like really use the power out of that. But even then, I don't know yet what I want to use the power on. There's a few other things that we need to unlock. Uh, we can go check out how much science we made today, which uh, would be really good to know. Uh, how much did we get? We got a grand total of 66 red and 341 green. So that's really good. Um, what do we spend before we go here? Oh, they give us a reservoir and the pumps. That's nice of them. All right. So let's think about what we need to do next. And then we can start that in the next stream. Um, so fluid pumps would be good. Then we can get these but they're not really necessary um getting down here isn't a priority just yet uh, that's just infinite water we can kind of deal without that at the moment so let's what do we got down here this is all like ore doubling and stuff like that which we don't need to get into just yet uh there is the other power option to give us more power but yet then again this is going to be sufficient for a little while anyways um i guess we can get into better steel so that way we can make better steel that would be a good thing uh I could get all the way up to here so let's do the better steel for now oops so we'll just grab a bunch of this 
How does that keep getting thrown out? That's very... It's an unfamiliar item. How did I unlock an unfamiliar item? Is it going to let me pick it up, though? No. Huh? That's... That's odd. The quest item, that should be gated. <laughs> so... Really, technically, I would have to go and learn that. Then he'll let me pick them up. That's kind of odd. you think it would have been, you know, a little bit backwards, right? Anyways, that's that's fine. I guess we were forced to, to get that at the moment. May as well get the infinite water source while we're here. Um, and then the steel. I want to get better steel. It gives us that. Uh, oh, we got to double those up, so hopefully I have enough on me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it said 16 of those. And then, oh, that was the wrong one. There, bam. So now we got a better blast furnace, so, so that'll be good. That'll be good for setup next, uh, next stream. We'll be able to do the better steel. So we'll power that. We'll use our new power for that in particular thing. Um, we'll also get a Coke setup thing set up. So that way, uh, Coke ovens, we can use our Coke ovens. And then that we will hopefully unlock the sawmill. And then with the sawmill, what we can do with that <clears throat> is we can come back here. And if you look at the automated coal, well, if you use a sawmill with the torches, you can get back some coal. But if you use, what is it there? If you use the coal coke to make your torches, you get six instead of four with normal coal. So every time you make two sets of um, two sets of torches like this, you're getting double the amount of that which is pretty pretty awesome. So you'll be able to get back more um, more coal from that. So I think that's it. But uh, yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed the stream. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video, everybody. And we'll see you, what is it there, next, uh, next Friday, probably around the same time, four o'clock in the afternoon. So until next time, everybody, peace, take care.